false police Robert Trelawney, businessman of $1 million. Men posing as police officers robbed a homeowner at gunpoint of approximately $1 million last week in Bounty Hall, Trelawney's Hammersmith neighborhood. According to the police, the heist was carried out at the home of a local businessman. According to information that has made its way to the media, the businessman was at home when a white Toyota Voxy came up at 6.50 p.m. Four guys were said to have descended, each carrying a revolver and a rifle and introducing themselves as police officers. According to reports, the men asked to search a businessman and they discovered $300,000 in his pocket, which they removed. The supposed lawmen entered the businessman's home and conducted a search before discovering a safe that contained roughly $500,000. He cooperated with them at their request and opened the safe. The men took all the cash, departed in the mentioned car, and successfully made their getaway. Later, the merchant reported the incident and an investigation was started. In Mountain View, three people were shot, two dead. Gunmen opened fire on three men in Mountain View, St. Andrew, killing two of them. According to the police accounts, three males were shot and injured by armed intruders at a home on Mountain View Avenue around 10 p.m. on Sunday. Two of the men passed away from their wounds and a third was seriously hurt and hospitalized. The shooting was verified by corporate communications. Court rules DPP's tenure extension was lawful. The full court today ruled that the three-year extension granted to Director of Public Prosecution Paula Llewellyn in 2020 was lawful. Double murder convict Mervyn Cameron had challenged the extension on the basis that it was illegal because the authorities failed to follow the proper procedures provided for an extension to be granted to the DPP under the Constitution and the Interpretation Act, thereby rendering the appointment null and void. Cameron stated in the affidavit that his attorney, Hugh Wildman, conducted investigation and it was revealed that Llewellyn's appointment had violated the laws. He refused to grant the declarations that Cameron was seeking and that the extension was null and void and that the purported appointment granted to her are freedom. Fifteen people have been left homeless when gunmen set fire to homes in Portmore. Over 15 people, including children, were left homeless as a result of a fire believed to be the work of arsonist in the Portmore Villa, Gregor Park St. Catherine, on Sunday. The Portmore Criminal Investigations Branch says about 5.30 a.m. the victims were awoken by several men, some of whom were armed with rifles and handguns. The gunmen reportedly kicked open the doors and took away the occupants' cellular phones. They then poured a substance believed to be gasoline before setting ablaze all eight bedrooms. The assailants managed to escape. The police and fire department were alerted on their arrival. Three premises were seen engulfed in flames. No injuries were reported to the police. Superintendent Hopeton Nicholson, acting divisional commander for the St. Catherine South Division, said the police will be increasing their presence in the area and urged the cooperation of residents. The St. Catherine South Police will not relent in their efforts and we will continue to conduct operations to reduce the opportunities for criminals to commit crimes, said Nicholson. In the meantime, investigators are appealing to anyone with information that can assist them with identifying these men should come forward with the information.
St. Catherine's 17-year-old charged with larceny. A 17-year-old boy has been charged for the allegedly stealing items as well as livestock from a premises in Spanish Town, St. Catherine. The teen was charged on Sunday with larceny from a dwelling and simple larceny. A court date for him is being finalized. The Spanish Town Police report that in February 2023, the complainant locked up her premises and left. Upon her return, she reportedly observed that the boy stole several items from her premises, including livestock. After the incident, the teen reportedly returned in July and stole several other items. A report was made to the police and he was arrested and charged. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.